Hello again everyone, welcome back to the 3D Fashion Solutions channel. I'm Afsha and today I have a super quick and easy tutorial for you. We're going to be creating a 3D piping seam in V-Stitcher. Let me guess, you're still struggling by drafting the pieces, stitching them together, and then hoping that they simulate cleanly. Well, you won't have to do any of that. We're going to be applying it as a 3D seam. So let's get into it. So this is the shirt dress that we're going to be using for this demonstration and what I already did is I duplicated the body fabric and I'm going to be applying a piping to that front um, edge and along the collar. So what I'm going to do is go to the diffuse image and first I want to make sure in my preferences that I have Photoshop selected as the image editor. So if you haven't done that already make sure to do that. And then for the diffuse image, I'm going to go to that and say edit externally. And that's going to open up the image in Photoshop. So once that opens up, you just want to say file, save as, and save it to a location. I'm going to just save it to my desktop for ease. And I'll call it just dress piping. Then I'm going to go back to vStitcher and I'm going to import it into my seam. So I'm going to say add seam, go to where that image that I saved. And then I'm going to first edit the width of it. So you want to make it a realistic width for a piping. Pipings are usually about an eighth of an inch. But I'm going to go a little bit smaller because I feel like sometimes when I do an eighth it's a bit big. And then I'm going to go and select a color from my fabric to recolor it to. So I want that nice bright green that's in there. And then I'm going to select the trim, the seam I mean, and apply it to that edge. And I'm I think I applied it to a piece that was actually not in 3D use, so I need to apply it to the actual edge I need it to be applied to. And there you see it, but it's super, super thin, so I'm actually going to go back and edit that to an eighth of an inch again. And it's still kind of looking a little bit thin, so we're going to go back and change that to a quarter. So we'll keep that for now, and I can apply it to my collar edge as well. And might as well just apply it to my hem while we're at it. Give it a nice little piping on the hem. And I'm gonna go and give it 3D thickness. So if you look at your focus view right now, that seam is looking pretty flat so if you want to give it that piping thickness you want to go ahead and add some thickness so I'm going to go to 0 0.08 and that's looking super thick so we're going to put it down to 0 0.05 which is looking a little bit better but the now the thickness of it the width of it I mean is looking kind of wide so we're going to go back to the eighth of an inch and that finally looks great Look at that realistic looking piping. No need to add any additional pattern pieces. Well, that's the end of the tutorial on creating the 3D piping seam in vStitcher. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for more. I've had some people reach out to me who are interested in getting into the 3D fashion industry or the fashion industry in general, and they want some advice on how to get started or how to navigate it. I'd like to be able to offer some short videos that cover a variety of topics on how to enter and navigate the industry. Please let me know in the comments on what topics you would like covered, or feel free to reach out to me privately. My contact information is in the description below. As always, thank you so much for your support and for watching these videos. I'll see you next time.